This should be interesting. We're already within 24 hours of recording. <laughs> Switched over from our host to from Facebook to YouTube because Facebook just couldn't handle the bandwidth. So God knows what's best. Now we're recording directly to YouTube, which I think, based upon the software, looks pretty nice. We're going to try not to ever do any editing, at least not to begin with, because I would rather wake up in the morning and put a robe on and come out here and be real, the same way that God is real to me. And to worry about having a polished and professional presentation that's done in some magnificat oratory <laughs> operatic viewpoint that forgets that, you know, most of us just want to hear God. We don't really care how, we just care that we do. And so saying that, the reason why I was thinking such was that Tozer was a man of the people. He cared about the everyday person. Oh, he was a self-proclaimed prophet. And a lot of people agree or don't agree, but no one can disagree with what he wrote, which was pretty inspiring. And so God spoke directly through him. But isn't that what a prophet does? <laughs> Did you realize that you could have God speak through you? I'm not all impressed with the prophets, but I am impressed with people that God uses to speak through. Today, I hope it's you and me as we listen to God. True faith must influence our daily living. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. From Galatians 2.20. Things have come to a pretty pass, said a famous Englishman testily, when religion is permitted to interfere with our private lives. To which we may reply that things have come to a worse pass when an intelligent man living in a Protestant country could make such a remark. Had this man never read the New Testament, had he never heard of Stephen or Paul or Peter? Had he never thought about the millions who followed Christ cheerfully to the violent death, sudden or lingering, because they did allow their religion to interfere with their private lives? But we must leave this man to his conscience and his judge and look into our own hearts instead. Maybe he but expressed openly what some of us feel secretly. Just how radically has your religion interfered with the neat pattern of our own lives? Perhaps we had better answer that question first. One picture of a Christian is a man carrying a cross. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. The man with the cross no longer controls his destiny. He lost control when he picked up the cross. That cross immediately became to him an all-absorbing interest, an overwhelming interference. There is but one thing he can do, that is, move on towards the place of crucifixion. You know, Tozer's tough. I can I can tell you how to get saved. I can tell you what to do to get saved. But you know, there's comes a time when you have to figure out, though you may have been saved from the world and its ways, and you may be saved from hell, only God knows. The one question you have to ask yourself is, is Jesus your Lord? Is he your master? Is God in control of your life? I know we offer up prayers that say, 
Lord, come into my heart. Lord, I'll make you on the throne of my life and put you in control. But only you know if he really is. Only you know if you got up today and you ran off and did your own thing your own way. Only you know if you've invited the Lord God Almighty to work in spite of all your efforts, to make you come to a place where you walk, talk, live, and become his child as well as his son, and eventually an heir with Jesus Christ. But the heaviness that sometimes comes with Tozer is that in order to be an heir with Jesus Christ, you have to take up your cross. You have to follow your God to a place of crucifixion of yourself so that the day will come when God will say, you are my beloved son. In you, I am well pleased. Grace will cover you and grace will sustain you. But there is a price, and the cost is your life. Give it over and give it up. Give it to Jesus today. You won't regret it. He will be real to those who choose to be real with him. Tozer, today.